Hello friends. In this video we will learn about different types of fibers, their sources and how these fibers are changed into fabrics. Humans always had the need to protect themselves from natural elements like heat, cold and rain. Brief History of Clothing In ancient times, the cloths were made of animal skins, furs, leaves, grasses, barks of trees, or even bones and shells. After people began to settle agricultural communities, they started weaving twigs and grasses into long strands. Slowly, they began to weave these strands into cloth or fabric. When people learned to make simple needles from animal bones and they started sewing, After the invention of spinning wheel during industrial revolution, nearly all clothes were hand sewn. The spinning wheel brought revolution in the world of clothing, which eventually led to factory made clothes. In ancient times, the cloths were made of animal skin, furs, leaves, grasses, barks of trees, or even bones and shells. Where do the fibers come from? Fiber is obtained from plants and animals or it may be artificially produced. Fibers can be classified into two main categories natural and synthetic. Natural fibers are obtained from natural sources such as animals and plants, whereas those which are not obtained from natural sources are called synthetic fibers. Fibers that are extracted from plants and animals are known as natural fibers. Depending on the part of the plant they are extracted from, plant fibers are classified as fruit fibers, bast fibers, leaf fibers, stalk fibers and seed fibers. Classification of plant fibers Cotton is world's most popular plant fiber. It is obtained from the cotton plant, which is a shrub. It grows well in a black soil. It requires a warm climate with moderate rainfall. The cotton plant bears fruits called cotton balls. When they ripen, the balls burst exposing the seed surrounded by soft cotton fibers. These fibers are then used to make the yarn. Steps involved to make cotton yarn are The process involves handpicking the cotton fibers from the ripe cotton balls. Ginning involves the separation of cotton fibers from the seeds by using machine cotton gin. Fibers that are now free from seeds are called lint. This is then combed to straighten the fibers. Now fibers are twisted together from yarn by spinning machines. Cotton is a soft fabric which shrinks. It is a breathable fabric. It absorbs moisture. It gets wrinkled easily and needs maintenance. It is susceptible to damage by moths and mildew. It is biodegradable. It is used in making cloths, bedsheets, curtains, towels and quilts. Jute, popularly known as the golden fiber, needs high temperature and plenty of rainfall to grow. It grows best in soil that contains sand. Steps involved to make jute yarn are Globally, India is the largest producer of jute products. The process of obtaining jute yarn from the plant is
In retting harvested stalks of plants are soaked in water for few days until they start rotting. Retting softens the bond between fibers and inner core. Then fibers are separated from rotting stems. Fibers are made into yarn by twisting strands together. This process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning. The strong threads made from jute fiber are used in making sacks. Jute yarn and twiners are also woven into curtains, chair coverings, carpets and rugs. Jute plant needs high temperature and plenty of rainfall to grow. It grows well in soil that contains sand, silt and clay. Alluvial soil is best suited for the cultivation of jute. In India, it is majorly grown in the Sundarbans Delta. It is a natural fiber with a golden and silky shine. It is biodegradable and recyclable. It is a coarse fiber. Jute fibers are not so strong as compared to other bast fibers. It breaks easily. Better quality fibers have fairly high luster. Coir is a fruit fiber. It is obtained from outer shell of coconut. It is used in making ropes, fishing nets and mattresses. Flax is a bast fiber. It is strongest plant fiber. It is one of the first fiber to be used in textile industry. It is used in making linen fabric. Hemp is also bast fiber. It is strong and durable fibers containing 70% cellulose. It is used in making ropes, canvas, paper and linen-like fabrics. Fibers that are obtained from animals are known as animal fibers. Common examples are wool and silk. Wool is mainly obtained from the fleece of sheep or other hairy animals such as yak, camel, cashmere goat and angora rabbit. The sheep is sheared to obtain fleece. Shearing is the process of removing hair from sheep. It is done with special instruments called clippers. After shearing, bales of wool are packed. These bales are then sent to mills where they are cleaned and combed by a machine. This clean wool is then spun to form fibers. The fibers are woven or knitted to make clothes. Wool is flexible. It absorbs moisture. It is flame resistant. The wool fibers trap air in between them. Air is a bad conductor of heat. This prevents flow of heat from our body to the cold surroundings. Thus woolen clothes keep our body warm in winter. Wool is commonly used for making cloth, bedding, upholstery and carpets. Silk is produced from the cocoons of the silkworm. A silkworm feeds on mulberry leaves and secrets an unbroken fiber cocoon around itself. As the silkworm enters the pupa stage of its life cycle, it completely encloses itself in a cocoon made of silk. This cocoon is boiled and unwound to form the fiber. The fiber is then spun to form silk yarn. The rearing of silkworms for the production of silk is called sericulture. What do you mean by silk route? The first silk was developed around 5000 to 8000 years ago in China. From China, it came to India. Europe Africa Then Middle East, the trade route between these countries was known as the Silk Route. Silk is strongest natural fiber. It dries quickly. It does not shrink. It is cool in summers and warm in winters. Silk threads are very fine, soft and light in weight. It retains its shape, drapes well, has a natural shine and can be easily dyed.
fibers made by human beings using chemical substances are called synthetic or man-made fibers. Some examples of synthetic fibers are nylon, polyester and acrylic. Steps involved in making synthetic fibers The chemical substances are first heated so that they melt. Then they are forced through spinnerets that have fine pores. The long threads that come out from these pores are allowed to cool and solidify. These threads are twisted together to form yarn, which is then used to make fabric. Different fibers have different water absorption capacities. The absorption of water by fabrics is an important factor that determines how comfortable a fabric is to wear. The fabrics that absorb more amount of water are quite comfortable to wear. While fabrics that absorb less amount of water are very uncomfortable to wear in hot and humid environments. Making fabrics from yarn There are two main processes through which yarns are changed to fabric, weaving, and knitting. The arrangement of two sets of yarn to make a fabric is called weaving. Threads are crossed over and under each other. This is done by a machine called looms. Looms can be either hand operated or power operated. The interlocking loops of the wool yarn called knitting. Weaving needs a set of two or more yarns. Knitting, however, can be done by a single yarn or groups of yarn. Knitting needles are used to make fabrics by hand on a small scale. In factories, knitting is done by using machines. When compared with woven fabrics, knitted fabrics are more stretchable. Thanks for watching. Visit our channel now for your better understanding. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel.